No doubt you've gone to a restaurant, went to an amusement park, bought something online, and been asked to give a rating of your experience. Sometimes you're asked to use a star rating system, indicating by the number of stars that you assign how much or how little you enjoyed some aspect of that experience. For our business of the week, Dante wants to know how much his patrons have enjoyed their experience at the Divine Comedy Club. And so Dante circulates response cards after the show, asking, how likely are you to recommend the Divine Comedy Store to friends? And the ratings are returned on a scale of one to six. Therefore, X, as a discrete random variable, can take on the values of one, two, three, four, five, or six stars. What we want to know is, what is the expected value and the variance for this distribution. Now this might seem a little confusing. How can we get the average of stars, much less the variability or the standard deviation of a number of stars assigned? And the answer is going to be that the first thing that we will do is convert those star ratings into numbers. Once we have numbers, we can then compute the expected value, which will be the mean, and the variance of these star ratings. The expected value is the mean of a random variable. It is the typical expected outcome. What is the average number of stars assigned by patrons at the Divine Comedy Club? The expected value is essentially a weighted average. We take the sum of each x value and then weight it or multiply it by its own probability. Now this expected value may or may not be an actual value in the data set. For example, the expected value could be 3.5 stars, even though no patron ever assigned exactly 3.5 stars. Here's the formula for expected value. The expected value is notated as E parentheses capital X, which equals the sum of X times the probability of X. The required conditions are that every individual probability must be greater than zero and less than one. And the sum of all of the probabilities must add up to one. Once we have the data, we can create a distribution of the customer ratings. The distribution looks like this. The mode number of stars assigned is five, but the average number of stars assigned is 4.35. With our expected value, we can now compute the variance for our probabilities. The variance is the variability in the values of a random variable. It's answering the question of what is the average variability around the number of stars assigned. The procedure for computing the variance will be very familiar. It will look very much like what we did for computing variance or standard deviation from any data set. First, we subtract the mean from each raw score. Then we square those deviations. We multiply the squared deviations by their probability to weight them, and then we add up those probabilities, resulting in the variance. And here's the formula for variance. The variance is the sum of x minus the mean squared times the probability of x. And the standard deviation, as it always is, is the square root of the variance. Now I've created an Excel spreadsheet that we can use for calculating expected values and variances for discrete random variables. Let me show you what we'll be doing with that. We will begin by creating a frequency table, calculating probabilities, and then using the sum product formula to multiply across rows and eventually add up the totals. Let's take a look at how we would do that in Microsoft Excel, which we will do in our next video.